What's up guys, it's Seema the Centaur Yang here, so in this video I'm actually going to be telling you about the split that I'm running currently that I'm going to be running for the next ooh, 5 or 6 weeks or so, and after that I'll test, see how my strength has progressed, and then go on from there. Now I've changed my split from what I was running before because when I started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu 6 weeks ago, I realized that my recovery went to absolute shit. Um, I wasn't used to a lot of it, so after class I would be winded, the next day I would be sore as hell. It was just a lot of foreign things, and because of that, like, I was on a five day a week training split, I thought I could handle that with three days of Jiu Jitsu, very, very wrong. I was too fatigued, I was sore, I was tired, and my training kind of went to shit while I was still going to Jiu Jitsu. So within the past few weeks, I've had to experiment in the gym and see what works best best for me. Because honestly, I really want to progress with Jiu Jitsu, but at the same time, I still want to have progress in the gym, so I have to find that happy medium. So I'm going to be doing Jiu Jitsu three to four times out of every seven days. And then my workout split's going to be every four out of eight days. Okay? Now, real quick. The LA Fit Expo was awesome. While I'm talking, I'm gonna have some footage from working at a barbell brigade down here. Um, I went down with Chris Elkins, really cool dude. He's a pro natural bodybuilder also. And it was just really fun meeting a lot of you guys. At Expos, generally, um, I don't use many supplements, so I really didn't go to many booths. I didn't go take a lot of samples or whatever because I don't use much. But it was really cool meeting a lot of you guys that actually knew who I was and I was super surprised. I, I took a lot of pictures and it was just really, really fun in that sense. I also bought a pair of, uh, or multiple pairs of virus leggings, which I'm literally wearing every day when I walk around. And uh, it's amazing. But let's get into the meat of this. Now, um, I'm going to have my split down below in the description box. So if you don't want to listen to me talk, it's down there. But I'm going to be explaining the movements I chose for my compounds, why I chose those movements, and then my accessory work, okay? So it's a four-day split. It's a push-pull, push-pull. My main compound movements are, for my main pull movements, I'm going to have the Smith Machine Barbell Row and then the Penley Row. The reason I have both of those is because sometimes when I'm out at a gym that has a Smith Machine, um, I'll be doing my Penley Row instead. And if I'm at Olympus training over there, I'll be using the Smith Machine Barbell Row. For my main push movement, I'm going to be doing the close grip bench press because my triceps, I don't know if you can see that, my triceps are pretty shitty and I need to see a lot of growth there. Uh, my bench is really shitty also, but um, I'm more concentrating on my triceps right now in terms of my accessory movements just because I want them to grow. In terms of my main hip hinge movement, I have the deadlift and my main squatting movement is going to be the front squat just because I feel like doing front squats instead of back squats for a while. Okay. Now, in any kind of split I usually make, I always have a hip hinge, I always have a squat, I always have a few pushing and pulling movements, and these are just the movements I'm concentrating on right now. So, day one is going to be pull hypertrophy, all right, and, and this, when I say hypertrophy, it's hypertrophy in terms of the compound movements. So that means the movement in, ter in terms of the percentage of my one rep max is going to be set between 65 and it goes all the way up. To, if I have an overreaching week, it'll go all the way up to 82% if I, or 83% if I've gained enough strength of my one rep max. Day two is going to be push hypertrophy, so I'm going to be doing close grip bench press and uh, front squats on that day. Again, in between the 65 to 83, 84% rep uh, percentage. And then day three is going to be a pool hypertrophy, okay? and then deadlift strength or penlay row strength day. So if I'm at a gym that doesn't have a Smith machine, I'll do a penlay row for, when I, and when I say strength, that means it's, the percentages is gonna be between anywhere from 78 to 93 or 94% of my one rep max, um, and the rep range is gonna be anywhere from three to six reps. All right, so when I say strength day, it's those percentages, those rep ranges. 
Monday four is going to be a push strength day, meaning I'm gonna be doing my close grip bench press and my deadlift within the 75 to 94% rep range, uh, intensity, not rep range, and anywhere between the three to six rep range. So for my accessories, I've decreased the volume in terms of my leg movements, just because my legs are really gonna grow no matter what I do, they're not gonna lose much size. I naturally am going to always have big legs. Um, and I've increased my accessories in terms of my arms, shoulders, and chest. Now for my for day one pull day, and uh, my it goes pull, push, pull, push. Day one and three are the exact same, day two and four are the exact same. So my day one, I'm gonna be doing weighted pull-ups, 50 total pull-ups, neutral grip um, with a 25 pound weight. And if that gets easier and easier, I'm going to increase the weight to 35 pounds. Um, and then I have my dumbbell one arm row, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Dumbbell bicep curl, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Seated cable concentration curl, three sets, 12 to 15 reps. Dumbbell Romanian deadlift, um, seven sets, eight to 12 reps. And then GHR, five sets, 12 to 15 reps. On day two, I'm gonna have my one arm dumbbell overhead press, four sets, eight to 12 reps. Flat dumbbell bench press, four sets, six to eight reps. Kettlebell shoulder fly, three sets, 12 to 15 reps. Dumbbell chest fly, four sets, 12 to 15 reps. And cable tricep pull down. Depending on how my elbow is feeling, it's going to be either eight to 12 reps. If my elbow isn't feeling optimal on that day, it's going to be 12 to 15 reps. Now I've been doing a lot of um, my own active release therapy on my forearms and my triceps, and that has really helped out my elbows. Also, Filipino Thunder, his name is Marcus, gave me some elbow cuffs, okay, uh, strong elbow cuffs over at the LA Fit Expo, and I used those over there. You'll see that somewhere in this video, and those were very, very helpful. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to make some great tricep gains as the months go by, and I believe that's it. I think that's all I'm really gonna say here. I'm gonna have more workout footage coming soon. Um, I'm gonna be working on that super training fairly soon also. I was invited to come work out there, so that should be pretty awesome. Now, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and leave that down below about my split, about why I'm doing what I'm doing. Again, this split is set up in a way that's optimal for me. You know, so if you think about like my leg, um, volume isn't that high, but right now I'm really not trying to get bigger legs. I'm just trying to gain strength there. So I mean Whenever you set up a split for yourself, just make sure that it works well for you and your lifestyle You're doing enough volume for the places that you want to increase and you're able to recover from this volume well And it took me a while to figure out what I'm able to recom recover from and still progress along with doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu Jiu -Jitsu, four days a week, so if you guys have any questions, because I think I'm going to do a Q&A video soon, if you actually got to this point of the video, go ahead and comment the questions down below, all right? Um, I do have some mobility work in the mobility footage in the works, so I need to voice over that and get that out to you. But for the Q&A video, post a uh, comment down below or a question down below. If you have any questions about what I've talked about in this video so far, go ahead and ask, and you know I'm gonna respond. And that's about it. All right, this is Nsim the Centaur Eang from Break the Bar, and I will hopefully, actually I will, be talking to all of you very, very soon.